This morning, city workers are trying to clean up some illegal dumping. Lisa Benson is live at 18th and Chelsea with how the mayor is getting involved. These are incredible images, Lisa. That's right, Lindsay. This is a smelly job, but someone's got to do it. And right now, Mayor Sly James is among those somebodies. He was actually out here picking up garbage. One, tell me why it's important for you to be literally hands on the ground picking up trash this morning. Uh, because I, I think that the only way that you get a true sense of the issue and the problem is to get your hands in it. And this is what we do. And uh, managers out here are working. Uh, we got these good guys from the crews working. Uh, but all of this is totally unnecessary in the first place. Explain that to me. I understand that a lot of this garbage can be picked up for free if people just simply make a phone call. Well, there's a lot of different ways to do it. What we have here for sure is at least some of this is brought here by a contractor. You can tell by the big blue uh, collection bin that they dumped on the ground. What probably happened was they had an agreement with somebody to do the work and to get rid of the stuff and take it to a dump, and they were paid for that. So rather than do what they should have, they brought it here and dumped it. But people in their homes can call 311. And they can arrange for a bulky item pickup. And that's arranged on a certain day within a time frame. You put your stuff out on the curb, city comes by and picks it up. It happens all the time, happens whenever you make the call within a certain time frame. With contractors, rather than the uh, regular dumper, dumpster expense, you can get dumpsters at reduced prices. Put all your stuff in there, city will come by and pick it up. But what's happening is we're expending taxpayer dollars to clean up trash that some people who didn't either know the rules or care about the rules, probably both, just dumped on the side of the road and made an eyesore for things. It's unhealthy, it's unsightly, it's unsanitary. And as a homeowner, tell us what you should do if you see someone dumping illegally. Look, everybody lives in their neighborhood. If you see this kind of stuff in your neighborhood, don't let it get to the extent that this pile was. Call. Get in touch with 311. Let us know it's here so we can come out and try and do something about it. Set up some sort of apparatus, perhaps, where we can stop people from doing it. But call 311. Talk to the people there. They're extremely nice. They know how the systems work. They'll tell you exactly what you have to do in order to get your stuff picked up, and it doesn't have to become a problem or an eyesore. One way or the other, people are going to get it out of their house. Get it out of your house the right way. It's easy. Right, thank you so much, Mayor, for your time. Thank you. And they're going to have 30 to 50 trucks running today, cleaning up different areas throughout Kansas City, again, in an effort to get the city clean and hopefully keep it that way. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News. Lisa, I don't know if the mayor is standing by you anymore, but there's got to be some consequences if you're caught doing this, right? He's actually walked away, but I talked to him earlier, and he said, yes, the people who are caught doing this, they receive citations, and some who are repeat offenders actually get jail time. So the wow. city is very serious about cracking down on this and stopping people from simply just destroying neighborhoods with trash. Absolutely. Lisa Benson live. Thank you very much.